Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Season 2 Part 3. And as you can see, it is raining. As you can also see, I've done some building off camera. And I did it off camera because it takes a while to build underwater. Um, I built down here. This is going to turn into a um, railway transfer station. And that's so why I'll be able to come down here, hop on a railway, and then I'll be able to come over here on a rail track. And as it will lead through here. Up these stairs. Oh, I'll turn the stairs into a sloped railway, of course. And then it'll go out over, around, and then all the way up to where my tower is going to be up on the cliff. Now this part is stone, and this part is glass. Um, I ran. I didn't have enough glass to make it all out of glass, but I think I'm planning on making it all out of glass. I haven't fully decided yet whether I want to do glass or cobblestone, but we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, the it's there, so it's good. Over here, I've dug down. And I actually ran into a cave system. There's actually a really big cave system basically underneath my base that I discovered. So that's really good. And I've been growing my wheat and melons. So that's also good. In this part, I'm planning on doing a few things. I'd like to build a cobblestone generator so that I can get more cobblestone because, as you can see, I'm down to 59 cobblestone. And that requires lava, so I'm going to grab my bucket here. Uh, I have my water right there, so there's no problem there. And I actually found lava down in the cave system. So basically, this part, I'm going to be going down to my cave system that I found. And I'm going to be building some... Well, not building. I'm going to be gathering resources and collecting them. And then I'm going to come back and build some more stuff for my base. Cobblestone generator and gather lots of cobblestone and then once I've got enough cobblestone I'm going to smelt it into smooth stone, build stone, smooth stone bricks and start building a walkway up to my tower and I've decided to do an above ground railway this time so but I'd like to build it out of smooth stone and glass so there's that uh, let's see oh yeah so it was suggested that if you hold shift and then do left click as you left click and hold while you're holding shift then it will automatically dispense evenly a stack of items and if you do shift right click it'll do one of, one of each item so thank you to the person who suggested that very useful suggestion there you go make four pieces of bread like that alright so I've got my sword my pickaxe, my other pickaxe, my shovel Oh yeah, and I'm on the lookout for a spider because I need another piece of string so I can get a bow because I need a bow. I've got a good amount of coal, so I'm on the lookout for coal and string and then everything else as I come to it. I only have one bucket, but that should be enough. And it looks like the sunset. Hm. Alright, to the cave. Alright, I'm going to take care of the lava first, so I don't have to go around carrying lava. Again. Run this back up to my base, and then I'll come down and do the proper exploring. I actually found a full-on underground ravine. At which point I decided to stop because at first I just thought it was a small cave and I was just doing some cursory exploring, mining, clearing it out. But then I found the ravine and I'm like, okay, I'm going to start recording because that's actually worth recording. Alright, so that there, I'll build a cobblestone generator later. Ultimately, once I get a silk 
Silk Touch Enchantment on a pickaxe. Then I'll build a smooth stone generator and start mining smooth stone so I can build stone brick directly. Because I'm planning on having a lot of stone brick. Because I like stone brick. I like the texture. But as you can see, it's quite the ravine. There's coal over here. As I mined some of the coal, but then I started deciding that I should probably start recording it. Let's grab this real quick. Oh, iron. Iron's good. I'm going to need a lot of iron because I'm going to build, be building a lot of rails. Not initially. I'm going to be building it. I'm going to be building the Skyway in stages. Stage 1 is going to be um, just getting a single brick wide cobblestone, well not cobblestone, smooth stone brick um, walkway down. Stages, you know, future stages, then I will uh, add rails. And there goes a pickaxe. And make it look better and stuff like that. But initially, I just want to be able to get to the base. Okay. Now, I should be careful of the lava because I don't want to fall in. Why do I have 24 stone stairs? I don't want stone stairs. Alright. Um. Oh, wrong way. Hold on. There. I want it. There. I guess. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna go like this. And be try and be really careful. Ooh, diamond. Now that I like to see. I'm also surprised that it seems to be flowing. Actually, I should gather this because I could use this. I hope there's three diamond in that pocket because that would be really good. Because then I could build a diamond pickaxe. This is a pretty deep lava pit. Six blocks of lava down. Mm hmm. Hmm. A completely lonesome piece of lava. Uh, diamond. Well, yeah. okay. Yay, diamonds. Hmm. I should probably take it straight back to my base. I'm probably going to regret not doing that. That oh, looks like redstone. I've already found some redstone, because you might have seen that in my chest. But still, redstone is good. I'm gonna need. I 
plenty of redstone because well I don't have access to things like red power stuff like that I definitely am going to be building a lot of stuff out of redstone I haven't decided yet oh, gold I haven't decided yet if I'm going to build the exact same gatehouse I had in the last part again in this world not last part um, last map I probably will because as big as it was and as complicated it was as it was it was a fun thing to build and it really was but that's not something I'm going to do for a while because that was a lot of resources I'm not gathering the redstone because I don't it's that's something I'm going to want later but that I don't have a use for right now and it can and I don't want to use my pickaxe's durability on something I don't really need is lapis and iron and coal so that's good. Apparently I didn't bring enough pickaxes. More gold. Oh, there he is. There's two of them up there. And is that... Yeah, that's a gold armored wearing skeleton. Well, looks like they can't see me though. This is where that bow would come in handy. Right, so there's the ceiling. There's ledges up there, but I don't see much else up there. Hmm. Seal that up a bit. I think I'm going to want to, um, hmm. I'm tempted. I am actually quite tempted to turn the top layer into obsidian. Bring down some water, turn the top layer into obsidian. Oh, crud. Turn the top layer into obsidian and um I'll be able to, if it's six blocks deep, then I'll have plenty of lava later and I won't have to worry about falling into it while I mine. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do after I deal with this creeper. There we go. Oh, I lost the drops, but I didn't lose my drops. <laughs> I mean, I didn't lose my diamond. Who cares about a piece of gunpowder? I have a diamond! Yeah, Alright, so there's nothing over there. Alright. There's a block of lava there. see. Some cave up there, I think. No, wait, if I break that, he'll be able to get through. There we go. Now I'm safe. Yes, whenever you say you're safe, look the other direction. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since I've explored these caves. 
So I'm just reacquainting myself. Oh yeah, I have, there's more obsidian there. That's just a old deposit of coal. That used to be coal up there. You'll notice there's no minerals, or not minerals, resources, because I strip mined all that stuff. Well, I didn't strip mine. I, I mined out all the obvious stuff from that direction. I haven't gone up that direction yet. I should do that probably next. Okay. And that's in dead end. And you can never put down too many torches. Alright, so let me run this stuff back up to my base. Maybe drop off these stairs, I don't know why I have. Hey, it stopped raining. Good. Oh, I've got stuff grown. Also good. The melons will come in handy later when I get my potion going. My potion brewery going. Alright. That there, there, there. Actually, I want to keep that. Diamond. Coal. Three whole stacks of coal. That, let's see. There's eight sets of eight in a stack of coal. Eight pieces of coal will do 64 pieces of cobblestone into smooth stone. So, for one stack of coal, I can get eight stacks of cobblestone turned into smooth stone. So I only need 32 pieces of coal, because I really only need... Well, let's see. Yeah, I'll start with a stack of cobblestone. And see... Well, no, I need four stacks of cobblestone. Right, I need four stacks of cobblestone to go with my, say, 32 pieces of coal. And that will turn into four stacks of smooth stone, turned into four stacks of smooth stone brick. And then I'll see how far that gets me on my journey. Nineteen iron and thirty-five gold, so that's good. Oh yeah, there we go. I have forty ladders from when I was making my ladder down to the cave system. <laughs> More wheat. Very so often they don't drop seeds, but the majority of them drop more than one seed, so it works out okay. Okay then. So I should probably eat some wheat, or not, eat some bread here. Right, so I think the next thing for me to do is build that cobble generator and make get a whole bunch of cobble and maybe make some more pickaxes. Looks like I'm also going to need some more wood. I really should put a tree farm together, but I don't want to go to that kind of effort down here, because that takes a lot of... Well, it takes a lot of space to do a tree farm. And I'd rather do something like that up in my base. But I am planning on getting a tree farm going. Okay, so I fast-forwarded a little bit, because I ended up failing miserably at remembering how to make a cobblestone generator and 20 minutes of my trying to make a cobblestone generator and not succeeding ended up not being very interesting. This is the design I finally went with using. It's actually the exact same design that I used in my last map. The only difference being instead of a block breaker here and here to break these blocks and then feed them to the chest, now it's just manual having to break them. Anyway, so I mined all this stone brick. Technically, I mined the cobblestone and turned it into stone brick. Turned it into stone brick, and I've got my ladders. And I got some stone brick, and now I'm going to eat a piece of bread. 
And then I'm going to ignore the fact that it's raining and middle of the night, and I'm going to go out and start working on my walkway. I don't see any mobs out, so that should be good. Okay. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna start. Oh, there's a skeleton. Run away! Ow. Actually, I think I ran past it. Uh. Alright, now where is my marker? Somewhere around here I have a little marker that tells me where to start building. There it is. Alright, so I'm going to start building from this point here. There we go. <coughs> oh, and it looks like the rain stopped. Alright, first thing to do is build this straight up. Up through the tree, even. Yeah. This seems like a good height. So it's going to be at this level as it goes out over there and then drops down. Okay. The cool thing is this part's over water, so if I fall, I'll just drop down into the water. Hopefully I have enough stone brick to make it to the base. Oh, there's a creeper down there. Oh, there's where I'm going. I'll take it to the let's see well where do I want to start my decline I suppose I could actually start my decline right now hmm and let's see it's easier to go up than it is to go down so I think I should start my uh, decline over there and then there's the bit of I built that over there. Do I want to go over to the island or not? Hmm. I need to go down there. Take a look at how it looks from down there. Hmm. I think I'm going to start here like this so I have a nice run and then it drops and then I'm just going to turn UOV blocks, and then I'm going to start climbing.
And of course, I didn't bother to see what level that was at, so I have no idea. Hmm. If, how high I need to go. I like that. I'll be able to see it come across, drop down, go over there, drop down. Yeah, I like that. That's good. No, based on shadows, that looks right. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. I would say I coordinated that perfectly. Now I can, without any problems, go from within my base up to here. I'll have to fix that a little bit. Put some torches down. And, oh yeah, I should be putting torches down. Well, I'll do torches later. Now... I need to do the incline over here. And this is where we run into another problem. I don't actually know how high up I need to go. But I'm thinking I'm just going to go really high up. All right, I finished my walkway, and I put torches down on it because as I, cause I had to run back because I ran out of stone blocks, so I had to go back to base for another stack of 64, and so a total of nine stacks was used, and there was a skeleton on the stairs as I was coming along, and he shot me, and I fell off the cliff. So, I put torches down, cliff, no, I fell off the uh, walkway, so I put torches down, and when I was gathering my stuff, there was a spider that I killed to get a piece of string, so now I have a bow, and I made some arrows. This I had made earlier because I had climbed up there to make sure I was still on track, and I was, I was perfectly on track. So now, all I have to do is build my actual tower, which is going to be a problem because I'm not actually sure 
and now it's raining. But I'm not actually sure what kind of design I want to do my tower with. So I'll have to put some thought into that. But that's a good amount of footage, I think, for episode 3. And episode 4, I'll be able to start actually building my tower. So we'll see how that goes. Interestingly enough, I used just shy of nine full stacks of cobblestone, which means that I used approximately 576 stone brick. Now, obviously, the diagonal parts took double, so the number of stone bricks that are actually facing up and on level surfaces, etc., are going to be less, plus I obviously used some extra here and there, plus I dropped a few pieces, so at the moment I'm thinking that when I go to make the rails I'm going to make about six stacks and see how far that gets me, and if I need to make any more at that point then I will, but I figure six stacks should cover most of it in rails. So that's what I'll do. It would be nice to be, find a abandoned mine shaft because then I could just gather all the rails from that. The way I remember it from my previous world where I didn't have any use for rails, I had stacks upon stacks of rails. Oh, <laughs> looks like my achievements reset. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I've been having. Um, I've been cutting them out, but I've been getting crashes. It's something weirds up with my audio drivers, causing crashes occasionally. I'm still working out the reason being all that, but yeah. So I've, I've crashed a few times while playing Minecraft, and uh, it looks like I reset my achievements. Anyway, so I'm going to close this episode now, and see you in the next part. Bye.